Hello, and welcome to the monitor. Good morning, wake up. It's not as early as you think it is. Maybe you overslept. Maybe you passed out and it's very late and I'm yelling at you to maybe think about sobering up and getting your life back together. At any rate, we're here now, so, so let's commune. You're with me, I'm with you. Let's talk about things that are happening this week. Let's talk about NBC's last stab at sitcom relevance. Or let's talk about one of my favorite board games that, has come, that just came out for the iPad. Or let's talk about going to the movies together, the theater, the cinema. Does that sound good? Perhaps me and you, jumbo bucket of popcorn, snuggle up during the previews? All right. Anyway, this week in the campaign with Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis. Will Ferrell plays a North Carolina long, many-term congressman, and Zach Galifianakis plays the kind of innocent stooge who's put up against him in the race. Of course, there's mudslinging, of course, there's hijinks, and you know Will Ferrell can play a politician, as he did for many years on SNL, with a little bit of a, a bushy and bent to him in this movie, and you know Zach Galifianakis can play the cherubic idiot, because he does that basically for his livelihood. The one X factor here for me is director Jay Roach, who, yeah, has done a lot of uh, very lucrative comedies, but in recent years, for me, has kind of tailed off. But, saving grace, he's not working with Mike Myers, so I think we could be in for a treat. If you're into spy stuff, excellent, go see Born Legacy. I'm just going for a change of pace here. So, it's the campaign this weekend at a theater near you. But now, let's talk about video games. Now, in, in the pantheon, of classic or modern classic uh, European style board games. A, a lot of them have already come to iOS. Um, Carcassonne, Ticket to Ride, uh, Dominion should be here soon. But last week, uh, Ravensburger Digital finally brought to iOS their adaptation or their official license of Rio Grande Games San Juan, uh, which is the card based version of the game Puerto Rico. So, San Juan is now available, and it is $8, which, yeah, it's a little pricey, as all these board game adaptations are, but it's done flawlessly. It is a, a card-based game with many phases in which you and your opponents are all trying to develop civilization through building facilities and, and producing goods and selling and trading and, and doing it that way. It's, a lot of games kind of work within this theme. San Juan is a great one. Uh, it's r really well done. The music is there. The, the, the card artwork is official. It, it's really well done. I've been, I've been playing it a lot since it came out last Thursday. So highly recommend it. Even if you're not into European style board games and you're up for something a little more, there's a, a learning curve, uh, there's a lot of rules to it. It seems a little complicated at first, but it is a lot of fun. And might I say it, you'll be hooked. So give it a shot. Hasta mañana. Back to you. Okay, thank you for that. Now, television. August is, is a weird time because the new season hasn't started yet. There's just not a lot coming out. This year, what changes is the Olympics are on. And so NBC has tried to take advantage of the fact that someone is actually watching NBC of their own free will. And they're using the occasion of the Olympics to preview two of the new fall sitcoms that they have coming. One of these is a spectacular misstep called Animal Practice. Stars Justin Kirk, who you might know from Weeds. It is about a veterinarian who runs an animal hospital, and it is, you know when you watch a movie and people in the movie are watching a terrible show? The show is as bad as those shows in the movie. Like, it is, I recommend watching it just to see how bad a sitcom can be. However, there is a silver lining, and that silver lining is the other sitcom that they are previewing. It's called Go On, uh, and it stars Matthew Perry, Chandler from Friends, who had actually a decent sitcom on ABC last year called Mr. Sunshine, kind of got nipped in the bud, but he's back with a, uh, it's kind of an ensemble thing, it's about a sports radio guy who has to go into group therapy for grief counseling, but the people in his group, it's actually, there's a pretty good rhythm to this, and I really enjoyed the pilot, it, actually, it, act, it also has Tyler James Williams, who played Chris on Everybody Hates Chris, who's grown up a little bit and is, is still pretty funny. It's great ensemble cast. It's gonna, there's a few faces you've seen before and whose names I just can't ever remember, but they're all in it. So, you know, that guy with the beard, he's on it. That, the Asian woman that you, she's in it. Uh, good ensemble cast with some good ensemble players. This is the one that I think is actually gonna be watchable and I think has some room to grow and go into good places. Oh, and John Cho, who I really, really like. John Cho was on the show. Harold, not Kumar. Uh, so, 
Go on, Not Animal Practices, on NBC. Check it out this week after the Olympics. But that is it for The Monitor. As always, email us at themonitor at wire.com. Maybe you have a project you think we should talk about. Maybe you just like the cut of our jib. Either way, let us know. Maybe you think we're idiots. That's fine, too. Email us. We can take it. We got thick hides here at The Monitor. We'll be back next week with more pop culture coverage. But until then, inspirational catchphrase here.